this section of the hospital freaking me cow this is scary genuinely scary we're in japan we're in the red zone high radiation wild animals haunted hospital this gigantic hospital has stood abandoned since 2011 since the fukushima disaster and no one has been inside since apart from maybe some stealthy explorers but this place genuinely scared the hell out of us i've been to many abandoned hospitals throughout the world but nothing and i mean nothing compares to this one we're actually here for six hours in total and during that six hours we've had numerous things happen some explainable and some not explainable but one thing i will say the residual energy sticks don't forget what happened here on that fateful day in 2011 It's another day in Japan. You already know how it is. The Fukushima series continues, and today we are going to Fukushima's abandoned hospital. Now, this hospital is right in the red zone, so uh, should be quite interesting. But here at the uh, Explorers HQ, you know, you've got damp, wet tile towels dangling everywhere. You know, you've got a mess on the dining room table, clothes drying everywhere. Obviously, radiation clothes um, down here. You've got Dave's room, which is uh, a little bit cleaner than I expected. Is Steve decent? Is Steve decent? All right, Steve's there as well. Yo, what's up, Steve? Good morning. All right, okay. All right, actually, Steve, you got the good room. Oh shit! Well, I suppose he did get here first and paid for it, so. Yeah, did my research. How, how do you too, know it's yours? Guys out of spots, you know. Yeah, I know, so, I know. I Actually, I gotta I say. Got my drink collection right here. Oh shit! Yeah. Well, how do you know it's your lens cap? Because it fits on my lens right now, and mine was missing. Really? Yeah. Well, I have a G Master, so if it's. Me too. You don't have a G Master. Uh, you have a Zeiss. What are you talking about? <laughs> Hang on, boys. Ah, shit, lens domestics in the room. Someone stole someone's lens cap. Shit, let's get in the car quick. Let's go. I'm gonna get other side. Ah, Nandayo. Yeah, now Steve's waiting for us. This is what no, he's no, been doing. No, no, we're waiting for Steve. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Bro, I'm so unfair. <laughs> My breath. <laughs> like the adrenaline rush of getting here first. He got us every morning trying to get here on time. Actually, I do want to go back to Tokyo. Yeah, we'll have to go back soon. Oh, he, he doesn't think he... <laughs> like, we don't... You know what? You, you boys! Notice? Call yourself explorers. <laughs> you guys are so slow. We were out here videoing. Yeah. Boys, we'll come on. We'll wait for you, we'll wait for you to come out. No, come on. Hours. Get in the car, guys. <laughs> Hurry up. We are like time is wasted. We're not going to be filming today. <laughs> come on, David. Always waiting for you. <sighs> okay, so today we're at a Lawson's. Pretty good shot. I've already had a Red Bull today, but... Today is a new fresh day where we're drinking healthy. So I'm gonna get all the drinks like 7 Eleven. Big water. Hi Dave. Oh god. 
This one's a small. <laughs> no, I was trying to show you that. <laughs> Dave. Dave, don't touch it. Don't spin it? <laughs> no, don't, bro. <laughs> don't do it to yourself. I'm not even getting anything to eat today. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have a fasting day where I've had a Red Bull this morning. I'm gonna drink. Uh, no, don't, 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 bro. Honestly, don't do it. Don't do it. Caris went. No, it's really good. Plenty of electrolytes, re-energizing, rehydration. It's, uh, it's pretty much what it says, man. Honestly, that that Done stuff it. that stuff kept us alive last time I was in Japan because it was 40 degrees. We were sweating non-stop. Our t-shirts were, were had white patches of salt all over them because we sweat that much. That stuff kept us alive, I promise you. Yo, what are you getting? I got I got the matcha drink I wanted. It oh, was did you? Here. Yeah. Oh. Flaming out there. I got I got it. Oh, uh, yeah, look one. It, look it. Um, so you, they, they, the drinks are right there in the back. And oh. then they, they pour it into an ice cup for me. Oh, okay, yeah. see. Uh, one day I want to stop at a supermarket. Oh, yeah, we should. A proper big supermarket, so I want to buy That'll loads of candies to send home. Yeah, let's do that. I'm down. I'll actually do that with you. You already know for those live streams. We could do a live stream one day. I'm down. Do well, a, we could do a Kit Kat one. Yeah, we could. So the Lawson's is like a 7-Eleven. To be honest, Lawson's, 7-Eleven, Family Mart, they are all pretty much the same. Uh, they just have a, a few different exclusive items in. Hopefully the wind isn't too bad. But yeah, it's like a it's like a ritual, and it has been since uh, the first time I came here in 2019. We we hit the Lawson's 7-Eleven or Family Mart every morning. I still have yet to go to an actual supermarket in Japan, so we need to do that one time because I want to buy a ton of candies and send them all home uh, for when I live stream at home, uh, redoing, you know, reliving the Japanese uh, lifestyle, you know, back in good old Leyland. Right, so we, we've got to a location that we were not meant to be at. We've just seen this and we believe it was something we already had pinned. We think this might be the abandoned school. So we pulled over. I was too busy on my phone. Everyone's already inside. I think I got wandering around. It's like, shit. But here we have um, basically an indication of the radiation here. Uh, you find these all over Fukushima, letting you know what kind of radiation levels are, are going on. Um, What is it, boys? Empty. empty. Don't know what it is, but it's all empty. To me, I thought it was like a lab or something. With this looking like here, and this looks like a lab. Cool though. Yeah. It's a worth looking at. Sun's coming out. Sun is coming out. So, Josh, is this high? Zero point six six nine. You know what? Where's the? The guy that counts in the car. Because if it's zero point six six. Like if it was showing our Geiger, that's nothing at all. Right, but okay. I don't know if it's zero as in, oh, it's reading it in that, so no, we're good. Because if it was an MSV, that would be 600 um, microsieverts. That's, that would be, yeah, it's not that bad, but that's the highest we'll see ever so far. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> a town community center. Oh. Improvement center. All oh, right, okay. The power of research. But it's also other bits of a town cultural center and a rural environment improvement center. So it's all different like things. What are we gonna see this? Is. I can't even see this. Yeah, I know that's so I was looking in the car. Yeah, we'll, we'll cut that little dagger. Hey nah, this will stop though. Getting higher though. Just reading our. Uh... Oh my god. This is live coverage of a tsunami. This is a rebel of the so before we get to the hospital, there's something I did want to talk about and I haven't had a chance to. I've been doing a lot of research on the hauntings of Japan and this incident. Now, did you know, on the live TV, there was numerous apparitions captured? Now take a look at this one. It's It looks similar as well. So if you take a look, whatever this thing is, it's pretty large and it moves out of the rubble straight across the land. And I mean, it even looks like it jumps over a road. Some say this is uh, the god of the river and, and the water. Um, they have all these 
legends surrounding those kind of uh, guardians. Now, obviously, I'm no expert on what happens when tsunamis occur, apart from the obvious, but I don't think that's meant to be there. And with this being live TV, it hasn't been edited as far as I'm aware. All the research that I've done all points to it being a legitimate apparition being caught on camera. But the crazy thing is, the same apparition wasn't just here. It was also caught on another camera uh, from survivors of the tsunami stood up high. Now take a look at this one. Tell me what you think about this one. You see that jump up then? You might have missed it, but take a closer look. See that? Now there is rumors going around that it could be oxygen tanks exploding in the water or you know gas being released. But I just don't know. Something screams to me it's not. Take a look at that one. Look look at the way it goes up the stairs. It jumps out of the water and straight up the stairs and then evaporates. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too much into it. Maybe maybe I'm just too excited about the whole Japan haunted thing to, to see it. Um the scientific reason behind it but let me know your thoughts down below obviously I, the reason why i'm telling you all this is when i'm going to these haunted spots in japan especially there's a, an, a real element of fear and, and it's because i see stuff like this and you know it's maybe you guys can understand why japan haunted is so much different to anywhere else i mean look at that in super slow mode and it's it's just it's numerous videos like this numerous let me know your thoughts down below before we do get into the video because am I just being naive and <laughs> crazy or are these actual entities from people passing away or is it, I don't know, an elemental guardian? I'll let you decide. As you can see, that's the guard. So... Hospital's right there. I dares the park way down there in the huts of the woods. That is considered red zone. Hospital when they go. Okay, so we're just hiding the car. We're gonna get our stuff together and head inside the hospital. Now this is uh, red zone, so I have to keep the guide account with me and a mask on at all times. Um, obviously, the road down there, I showed a quick glimpse of it. There is security blocking the uh, entrances to the road, entering the red zone, so. And this looks like an abandoned house here, next to us. Maybe. Looks like it. Yeah. So we've got some remnants of abandons, a little Subaru uh, truck there, and a, a scooter led in the ground. But don't forget, we are currently in the red zone of Fukushima. Um, I have my guided counter on me, and the radiation levels are not bad at all at the moment. Looking at a 0, 0 0.46. Um, highest reading we've had so far was a 0, 0.1.50. Um, again, not it's not crazy. It's not gonna it's not gonna kill us, and it's not really gonna do us any long term damage. Um, it's only if we're hitting like a 10.00. That's when we're gonna start worrying. Do what you gotta do, bro. Okay. Oh. Ah, fuck. We literally can't walk in here.
Watch out. Watch out the other side. No, come on, go, go, go. Let's go, Let's go, go, go. go over there. Yeah. Oh, that's good though. One feet or something. Get it from that point. Because. Yeah. yeah. I mean, this is probably where I'm going to leave you guys. So you can just open that door. Yep. And then just go straight. Find that thing, come up the hill. And really just go straight. You'll see like a little driveway in the woods. All and right. just follow it to the, ho the hospital. Okay. It's not a bullet train one, this is it. What's up? It's not a bullet train. I don't think so. Well, and these aren't electrified tracks, are they? Um, Alright, this is gonna, we have to all take our bags off. Yeah. Last one. Difficult. It wasn't exactly easy. It's gonna be hard to get over. Oh shit! <laughs> it's stuck. Hang on. That was the hard bit. Ready? Yep. Thanks. Okay. There you oh go. god. It made it look easy. <laughs> it wasn't that easy, but it was. It was... It doesn't even open up there. I think you just gotta plow for it, bro. Plow it, yeah. You good, man? Yeah. Let's not hang around too long in these, just because this is where a lot of the big spiders are. I think that's a train. I don't know. What the fuck is that? It's like the alarm for Silent Hill. <laughs> it's oh, going it's dark. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. 12 yeah, 12 p.m. in villages and towns. They make this sound. Okay. Good day. Um, straight. Straight on. No, straight on. And we're gonna see a path. I guess we follow it. You're right. Yep. This is a path here. No, he said just go straight. Hang on, I'll show you guys. All right. Radiation is up. What's it at now? Oh, 0.1.22. All right. It's it's not the end of the world or anything. It's uh, in micro sievert, so it's going to be high because now we're going through, uh, you know, untouched. Never seen. Uh, 0.1.25. Shit. That's like something in the eye. This is crazy. This is crazy. <sighs> like and subscribe if you want more videos. Seriously. Oh! You spider. What? Oh, well, it's not that big. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. Hey, you want to get the spider? That wasn't bad. Huh? Snakes. Snakes? <laughs> snakes. <laughs> snakes. Well, Did you see the size of that snake? Over there. No. Can you get the spider for me? Over here. Oh, it's gone. It's a jumping one, that's why. Where is it? What is that, you? <laughs> what oh, it's on your shoulder. Whoa. Boys, keep it together. Weren't me. Oh, you what about this? The spider's gone. Yeah, it's jumped. Where'd it go? It's a jumping spider, isn't it? Oh, it's fucking onion somewhere. It wasn't massive, but... It's still a spider. Alright, now we don't talk. 
Like I said, guys, like and subscribe for more content. And all the hard work that you've been making this video. And it's our passion for what we love to do. But if you're enjoying this, like and subscribe to the bell button. Oh fuck, 0 0.231 2.37 Bro, I mean, That's the highest we'll probably bro. get in this whole trip 2.3 If if I'm not mistaken, it's either every hour we get a tooth x-ray or yeah. it's every 100 hours we get a tooth x-ray no, I think it's every hour it, uh, I think it might be yeah. it's pretty bad. Yeah, I know. We, we, we don't want to be out longer than five then, hours. It shouldn't be that bad. It's just because we're in... It's not bad at all. It's just... This hasn't been cleaned up. Radiation is quite high. Uh, it's only going up. Still going 0.246. Radiation levels are going down. 0.2 point... What was it? Uh, 0 0.2 point four six. Now the radiation needed to be less, if I'm not mistaken. Oh yeah. Yeah? 0, 0 0.61. Good. 0, 0 0.61 in here, so we're good. What the fuck was that? That wind is scary. I thought it was like that someone was jetting to us, but I like it. I thought it was one of them that wind up sirens. Wow. No, like, oh. Yeah. You can hear that. The wind's roaring. That's cool. Are you joking? Try it. Hang on. Hang on for this one. Oh, yeah, yeah actually. Yeah, good. Good on this. Let me try it. They definitely. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. I know. Wanna get his stuff? Oh, <laughs> So if you guys see how we're all working together, this is literally like the last of us. Okay. Alright, now we're safe, we're in, we're in, everything's good. Um, the only thing we have to watch out for is the guards in the front front, so we just can't talk loud, that's all. But we can be good. Here you go, bro. Thank you. Oh, okay. This is the bathroom area. Get some kind of aqua therapy of some sort. Oh man. We are currently inside the red zone. Hospital. 
But this is the eeriest place I've been to yet. I don't know where they're gone. Oh, they're down here. Oh, that was on the floor. Guide account is looking good in here. Is it? Yeah. What's it normal? Normal's like zero zero point zero five. Like that's 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 like normal for us in the UK. Normal for around here is about zero zero point one nine. So, I don't know what, obviously we've got to be relatively quiet, it's probably going to be like, why are you whispering? Well the thing is, is that we are surrounded by guards, we are, we are in the red zone, uh, this is a very forbidden place, we do not want to get caught here. Hey, what is this called? I forget. To listen to someone's heart? A stethoscope. A stethoscope, alright, I was right. I was right, I know. So this would have been the uh, protocol room. This is where they dumped everything when the disaster happened so they knew where it all was in one spot. Yeah. You know, just being in this room, it's kind of um, it's kind of strange because I've been to a lot of abandoned places, a lot of abandoned hospitals, and when you step inside a place like this, you just know something, something bad happened. Um, whether it be disaster or, uh, to be honest, it has to be a disaster. It's, it's just the only way to describe it. You see, they've used this room as like a a one-stop shop. Instead of having it dotted around the hospital, they've basically put it all laid out in here. So if there's any issues, everything is here. You know, they don't have to wander around looking for stuff. It's all in one spot. You can see all these boxes here were brought after the earthquake as uh you know because we don't they don't know how long they were going to be here they don't know how many injured was going to be here obviously a lot of people took refuge here because of uh, the tsunami you know there was, a, oh, there was so much going on nine nine uh, nine scale magnitude earthquake followed by a tsunami followed by the uh, power plant having a breach and, and leaking radiation it's just you know all this all this bad stuff all happened at once crazy unbelievable and obviously they probably only found out two days later after the earthquake that the uh, the, the the power plant was uh, was leaking I mean look at this look like teddies and stuff here I don't know if that's a children's one or not but Oh, it still has stuff in the uh, in the IV line. I'm not sure what that is. So look, they were taking refuge right here, on here. This is uh, normally like a sit down area where you would eat or whatever, but they've um, put beds on here and because there was that many people in the hospital and 
seeking shelter and refuge. Everyone's going to be scattered everywhere. You could kind of imagine the terror they were going through. So it definitely leaves an impression on the hospital, like a, like a residual feeling, really straight. It's so hard to describe. All the shavers. I had a lot of fun day in here. So yeah, this could have been the canteen area. In fact, I think it was canteen staff area. Probably for the staff. Hence the reason why it's a staff area. How stupid do I sound? I'm just super excited. I am going to do a walk around in the silent. I'm going to do a walk around silent at some point again, like I did in the nursing home. I feel like it adds a whole new element to the place. Bro, that was fucking scary. I'm gonna have to use your clip right there. There you go. Dan caught this. That was so loud as well. It was super loud. Oh, Steve's messaged me. He just said, how are you liking it? I was thinking either, either yeah. that security or goddamn this place is haunted. It was, it's probably haunted, but definitely, yeah, that was scary. Alright, continue. Ah, Alright.
Could be a lot of these. These types of rooms. It's hard to find the day on these. There's a lot of black mold on here. Just one single bed on its own in this room. Might have been for like uh, someone with some kind of infection, infectious disease, or even end of life care. Normally when they're uh, segregated like that. Oh, look at the look at the peel. Oh, look at the peel on that. Oh, Sequoia. <laughs> Very similar layout to all the rest. I think we're gonna go and find the fierce rooms and stuff now. So maybe a bit more, That's some different rewards. Right, back at this so the guide counter still reading pretty good. But we're fine inside here. It was just uh, pretty bad inside the forest. The ground floor must be a lot bigger than this though. Maybe we should do the ground first. But yeah, I don't want to miss it. I mean, most likely just patient rooms. It's locked. It takes us through somewhere different. Look at this. Oh, there's shoes. That's oh, locked. It's a church. A church? Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's, it's a dining room. There's not even like dust in here. Dude, you know what's weird? If you look at this, it's not much, but this has been standing in the same spot for like 13 years. 13 years untouched, just like that. But look, there's the same pulses over there. Same warning pulses. Oh, you haven't seen these at the last the community center. I wonder if that last one we went to was a nursing home slash hospital then. Well, I mean, they take care of them if they get sick. Yeah. So it makes sense. They just don't do operations there. Standard vending machines, you know, you know how it is here in Japan. That's the sound we heard in the beginning. We're cutting through the other side. You can see other people's footprints. Down there, I have no idea. 
the outside of all looks like everything. What's going on? So it means sticking out the window, I got Yeah, because the on. air is the air from untouched soil and everything and the, all the leaves is bringing it in, making it travel. Check it out again. Wait, let it detect it. This should pick it up real quick. Big wind. Oh, here we go. Oh, man, dial. <laughs> oh, actually, dude. Oh, shit, that is picking up fast. It's like a warning pyramid head's coming. Man, so what you guys seen was a 1.00 uh, micro sieverts. It's the highest we got. Um, nonetheless, it's safe. It's not normal. It's nowhere near normal in the normal world, but you know, it's the eating of a banana <laughs> Oh, it smells in here. So this is where all the medication and stuff is kept. Oh, it looks like they are. They were actually making their own medication here. God knows what all this stuff is. It smells like iron tablets out there. I can smell the iron. It smells like as soon as I walked in. Really does feel like I'm scavenging during the apocalypse when I'm in places like this. Especially Japan, right? So much about Japan, obviously, I swear to you. So much about Japan it just screams like a uh, horror. Oh, look at these. Some little figures there. Wow, oh, look how big it is. There's a lot to see here. Oh, look, they were taking refuge in here as well. Kind of crazy, even in like the office room. Hey, look at these, these bobbleheads, like golf or something. Is that Tiger Woods, and <laughs> baseball. Huh. We've missing a foot though. Let's see if Josh knows who any of these are. I have no idea. Hey Josh, do you know who Mickey Mantle is? Huh? Mickey Mantle? Mickey Mantle, no. No, alright. Apparently he's a baseball player. There's a ton of them. There's loads. Mickey Mantle. Anyone know who Mickey Mantle is? The bobblehead here? I guess he must be good if he's a bobblehead. Obviously, I'm British. I don't know baseball, but Josh has no excuses. You can see the vastness of this place. It's so big. Yeah, so obviously, Josh, I'm British. You know, I have an excuse yeah. for not knowing baseball, but do you know any of these baseball players? Well, let me let me see here. There's golfers as well. I know. Well, you, you got a guy named Tiny Champ. I'm sure that's Ty. That's yeah, that's Tiger Woods. Oh, I see. Yo, I know him. We know Tiger Woods. There's loads of Tiger Woods. Yeah, I know Tiger Woods. That's all I need to know. But these are the, the baseball ones. 
Uh, Nolan Ryan. Nolan Ryan. Oh, Boston Red Sox. You already know, gang, from Boston. But to be honest, bro, I'll be honest, I don't watch any sports, so. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, I don't know anything. <laughs> no. I mean, I feel like I've heard the name Mickey Mantle before when I've been watching Porn Stars. Do you know when they bring stuff in? I'm sure they brought a Mickey Mantle ring in or something like that. What, no, or, um, or a playing card. Oh, yeah. See, I almost said like porn stars when I hear it. No, porn, no, porn. porn. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's my it's British the accent. Ma- it's the mask, too, though. But yeah, it's your accent. Porn mostly. stars. Yeah. Porn. 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 There you go. UK. <laughs> now, now I'm just watching porn stars. You know you know how it is in the UK. <laughs> watching porn stars and baseball at the same time, yeah. you know. Yeah. Oh, shit. Dave's there. Fuck, it's good. Wow, there's, uh, there's medals over here too. Oh, and this is something we see quite a bit of in Japan. We always see these glass cabinets with depicting like, almost looks like a samurai, but it's like a, well it is, she's got a weapon there. Some kind of staff with a blade on the end. You see these a lot. I actually really like them. I mean, if you don't already know, I love Japanese culture, everything about it. Even that much, I adapted a lot of Japanese style to my life at home, uh, including an imported Skyline GTR that I play Japanese music in all the time. No, I don't. Oh, Oh, there's no battery, I was going to say. Bro, could you imagine if it contained photos from the event? That's what I was trying to look at. Would have been insane. I mean, dude, this guy's coat is still on the chair. And it's an Adidas one. Oh, this is uh, one of the entrances. Look. Oh, shoe's still here. There's a baby car seat there as well. This must have been one of the main entrances here. Still fully stocked vending machines too. I don't like being in here too close to the windows. So it's mostly trying keys. None of them worked. I just need to room anyway. Nothing important. They're all locked. Oh, there's got to be another way. Wow. 
This is the biggest gym I've ever seen. Like in terms of toss, like oh, things. Shit. We got basketball nets. Yeah. Well, two people have just been chilling here drinking Sapporo. This is crazy. Oh yeah, two uh, Sapporos on there. Probably Bob's. Yeah, we're gonna have to find a way somehow. It's the maze hospital. But you can see this place is married. Fuck, <laughs> this damn scary. Fuck. It's like a fucking banshee squealing. It sounds like that. Like, like the that. lady in white. Yeah, like the widow who lost her love. She lingers in the hospital screaming throughout the day and night. Damn. Right, we found another set of stairs. Hopefully we can get in this way. Well, this looks amazing. Yeah, because that's the door we couldn't get in down there. have planned when we get to Osaka we are all renting out JDM classic cars um, I'm gonna rent out an R34 GTR I think it's uh, it's 250 pounds six hours um, and everyone else is gonna rent out a JDM car it would be a Skyline but but if I can't get the uh, R34 GTR I will be getting an A86 um, and you, there is one that is a Tofu uh, Tofu car, the, the exact replica of the initial D car, so and we're gonna go for a drive, which is gonna be <sighs> dreams and goals complete right there. Okay, we're we'll leaving that area now. See you later, initial D. Don't know where everyone's gone now. Looks like people are making like camp here. That wind is still roaring. What's going on? Okay. Oh, what's Alright. What's going on? So, as I was looking through this guy's stuff, I came across this. A 3D eye. And so I didn't know what it was at first. I thought it was like his glasses. So it, it's like a, an addition of this girl. It's a theme. And you take this picture of a whole bunch more. So you can take a picture of this one. See, I haven't seen this one yet of her. You put it in here, and then, bro, you look at her, and it looks good. <laughs> look at, like, it looks like one picture. Oh, oh shit, yeah. yeah. I thought this was gonna be naked for a second. Yeah, no, it's not a naked one, it's not a naked one. They probably have a bunch of them. Sure her name's Yuki Kawamura. Sure Kawamura. it's good. That's what I'm saying. Why do you got so many radios? They love them. And it spurts. Yo. And it spurts. Really. Still works. If it was set up, that'd be a good radio. We can do a spirit cycle. Oh, this is so hard. 
Look at this guy set up. Whoa, he's, he's got been some. Been for a while, like an OG. <laughs> Just a bit. Look at the stand. Oh my god, this is actually fresh though. But look at his radios. I Again. Think... Well, he's got three of them. Bro, what if he was disturbing anyone? Oh fuck. There's a new. There's a nude one. A... No, forget the nude. GTR. Yeah, there's a GTR. Uh... That was taken right here. Oh yeah. Oh, what did... fucking Dave. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> At the, the craziest time. That's crazy. This place is so creepy. Man. I know it is. Well, you hear all the why, do you, why do you think I'm, I'm following Josh around like a piece of <laughs> stuck to a blanket? I was at the, you know, you go through the walkway. Yeah. I was up the second lot, up the third floor up there, looking down at the main entrance. <sighs> now, it is, or? someone ran down the corridor before and we don't know who it was. Well, maybe. It could have been wind, but we don't know. Nah, it sounded, it sounded like someone was rushing. Yeah. What is that weird? You notice that? Yeah, it's so many radios. It's like. Everyone has a radio, but they're all oh, radios. How do you enjoy it? That smell. I can't smell it. That smell reminds me of the smell from when I was like really little. Oh, sh I, I feel you. I know that. This guy was in such a rush. He left his teeth. Oh, well, all these are very much the same. All the uh, dormitories. It looks like they've just left and gone. And they've had to leave everything. But I still haven't found them theatre rooms yet. Still looking. Well, this is uh, one of the bath areas. So we are still hunting for the operation rooms. I'm guessing it's probably going to be on top level. There's a lot of levels to go through here, guys. But I can see there's quite a lot of black mold in some of these rooms as well. I mean, this one in particular is really bad. Black mold all over the wall. Cool. Just think the last thing that probably transmitted was the emergency broadcast to yeah. leave. There's a cassette there. When the tsunami came, high ground. They went to the highest ground they could. Yeah. Which is up here. So they moved everyone up here. Wheelchairs, beds, everything. That makes sense. God, could you imagine? Yeah, just getting the chills and stuff. Some rust maybe, but sometimes blood too. One hospital I went to was um, years ago, there was blood trips, and they said it was because one of the patients, there was a story that was with it, uh, when, I, when I did a TV show, people told me, weird man, I'm gonna check down here. Yeah, these are all patient rooms, but that's smart. That, that's, that makes more sense. See, this one's even different too. Right. It makes more sense that the ones up here are more dismantled because they, the patients that were in here didn't have to leave because they were higher up anyway. Yeah. All the ones down at the bottom just had to abandon all the stuff. Yeah. Still, always a stereo around. Stereos everywhere. Shaves and stereos. Okay, so we just discovered that the place is far more bigger than we even anticipated. Steve said it was like a five hour explorer, and I was thinking, well, he's over exaggerating, but mm. he wasn't over exaggerating. We have touched maybe 10% of this place so far. We've yet to find the operating rooms, all the medical um, and wash down rooms, and we've just seen from over the window, it loops around to a whole new other building that's about the same size as this one. This place is never ending. But we're here all day anyway, so 
You know how it is. Good thing we came up early today. Huh? It is a good thing. We got here at 12 o'clock, was it? I know, yeah. We were inside by 12 o'clock today. Holy crap. We got so much to see and do. Well, at least we did pretty much all the patient rooms. Yeah, that's good. And now it's like, all right, we don't have to keep showing that off. Well, there's a couple that I missed, but it's just, it was repetitive. They were all yeah, symmetrical and the same. Exactly. Kind of like these. These are all going to be empty now. Yeah. Yeah, none of them are nothing, bro. But it looks like, see, we finally came to this side, right? Yeah, but this is a different this is a different build compared to that one. That one's a lot bigger than this one. We shadowed that one last time, you remember? We were right. looking over the race. So, there's still, I feel like there's still something up here, but I don't know. It is another stairway. Oh no, this is the cafeteria. cafeteria. Oh! What? I think these are paddock, these are like rooms for the, in, uh, like criminals or mentally insane. Oh, for the mental, the mental patients? Yep. Dude, I think, oh, you are, you're right! Yep. Yeah, because look, this is the toilet, they can't leave. The suicide uh, watch people and Could stuff. be, yeah. But look, there's a, there's a big lock on the outside. Dude, 100% this is it. Oh, gun down. Yeah, so maybe they were allowed little stuff to do. Look, look at the padlock on, look at this. Holy crap, we just found it. And that's 3A. Look at that, good, good find. This is 3B. Whoa. Okay, the only other thing I could think of would be, like, infection disease. Yeah, I did think that as well. It's it's either that or the mental one. But I think the bottom, no, because the bars on the windows, it's definitely... Yeah, it seems kind of scary if you were, if you had, like, a, a certain disease. That yeah, you would have plexiglass. These are definitely for criminals. Either criminals or the mentally yeah, insane. Yeah, criminals and all that, for sure. Because there's even diapers and stuff here, man. Yeah, they're all the same. Look at it. it looks like he's just only just got out of bed and just a mat. I guess that could be the operation rooms then, if there's not too many. Yeah. It's not only another floor, but there's even up there, right? Like that is four floor here. Yeah, there's two on that one. Come on. No. We haven't been in that building for sure. No, not yet. All that bit. That's so much. All over there. So we've done this whole building. We've just about done this whole building too. Once we find a way up there, if we do, then we gotta do all that. But up here, maybe it's another room on the other side. Go back down. My guess is at the fourth floor this way. Come on. Oh, wah, wah, wah. Brings us to the. Oh, this would bring us to the locked gym. Oh yeah. I wonder if there's a, a way to get there. Right, okay, so the, the only way to get to the top floors is through a broken window that we saw. Uh, I ideally didn't want to climb through the window with a broken glass, but needs must. We definitely want to see what's up there. They'll cut your ball on that glass. And we are here. Yeah, I don't know, this is sketchy, but this is definitely what they did. 
No, I don't know about that. I think Daphne did it to get in there. Maybe we gotta get like a chair. Or a blanket. This I'm worried about, bro. It's the damn hornet's nest up there. Where? <laughs> there. Oh! Wow. Because I tell you what, they're, they're the giant <laughs> hornets yeah. that kill you. Well, it's it's not time for them yet, I don't think. We would have heard them. Don't know, it looks like quite a newish one on the right. Well, it would be radiation hornets now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the issue we have is just down this road here is where the checkpoint is for the guards. So you gotta be very careful. Josh has gone scouted out, but look at them. Giant hornets. What? No. Nope. No way. Nothing. What the hell? Well, <sighs> we tried. Music. Oh my god, finally! We were so confused to get here. Is that a hornet's nest? I don't know, it looks like it. Finally! Off camera, guys, it took us a little while to actually find this floor. It is so freaking confusing, I swear to God. Okay, so it's all office stuff outside. I bet you just always walk in. So many stores are locked in. It's kind of gay. Whoa. Just trash mostly paper. But again, all the computers have been removed. There's a safe in here. That was a mission, bro. I know. Like, I was getting literally, I, was, I thought I was in a loophole. I was stuck. Groundhog Day. It's all this. Oh, yeah. It's all blocked off. I'm locked. I don't know. We crumbled paper on the floor there. I don't know what it is. Must be away in this way. Oh, that one. It's storage. There's a bowling ball in there. There's like mitten gloves. It's the library. Lightning McQueen. Oh, it's like a play center and library. Hmm. Whoa. Oh, look, some games. The old Apple computers. And this one's open. Hmm. Toss the tank. Either an iPhone, what do they call those? Before the iPhones? Well, there was iPhone and the, just the music. Oh, this is iPod, iPod. iPod. <laughs> iPod. They still make iPods? Bro, all the music we listen to in the car, all the old school music, uh -huh. is on an iPod. Because it had a connector in it, and I've connected it in my car, and it's been there since 2018, when I first oh, got the wow. car. I plugged it in and just let it, let it See, roll. I don't, I don't own any, like, Apple products, so I wouldn't know, but it's on Apple. I don't think there's iPods anymore. You don't, you don't even need one anyway. But it's still cool. A lot of different stuff here though. There's a suitcase in here, Gundam models, down below you got Nintendo games. Um, so we gotta be really careful because down there where them coins are, that's the checkpoint, make sure no one comes in. But right here, this is the staff car park. The people who was uh, obviously members here, they could have been visitors. Never got a chance to retrieve the car after the tsunami, after the, the radiation leak, and they've been sat here ever since in the car park, that's unbelievable, honestly. God, it's so apocalyptic. If there was ever a place on the planet that was that accurately represented an apocalyptic time, it is here, guaranteed here. Right now, Josh, mm -hmm. 
this is uh, it's kind of scary because I'm going through all these drawers and all I'm seeing is non-stop people's medication lives and look at this even this guy's passport photos that he's been doing this yeah. pharmacist you know it's like that's how quick they had to up and, up and go yeah these were all the, like the crazy seem to be like doctors or worker workers yeah not just office people but the people that save the lives Must have been like the doctor's lounges for chilling out. Here. Over here. This way. Bro. In here. I'm in here. Look, doctor's actual gowns. Oh! Still got all the notepads and pens in. That's cool. It's their personal lockers. Damn, they have nice lockers compared to like the nurses and stuff. They're all open. see just how overgrown everything is here on both sides. Oh, well, this is a new building, bro. Yeah. Let's hope and pray it's not good. There's a lot of different, like, like, hospitals, like, little houses here. Maybe after we're done exploring we can check them out. Like, just those over there. I don't know where they are. No, the good old scout. At least one of them after this. I mean, we have hospital beds just chilling right here. Oh, wow. This smells like an older hospital, this. Damn. What the heck? It's a lot red on there. Yeah. So this this actually this section here feels like an older part. That might be in a newer build. Um, just going off the paint and stuff down there, it looks like an older build. So might find the operating theater here. I need to do a battery change in a minute. Feeling a lot more. Oh, I they look fresh footprints then. The work boot, their boots then. Those are brand new. The boots as well. What was uh, Dave wearing? You think they're his? Maybe? No, they're not his. Huh? Ghosts? Oh, so that's good. So the other boots are someone else though. So I don't know who they were. Whoa. The colors are different bro. Yeah, it's definitely an old hospital this bit. Could be the older hospital or maybe a different kind. Yeah, right. I think it could be older because look, maybe they just yeah. built it here first. They built more money, got more money, extended it to the other side. That roar. All right, about to change. Okay, so. He's a lot more destroyed, but still, all the stuff remains in here. It is so crazy, you couldn't collect any of the belongings. All had to stay here. Yeah, a lot of these are pretty bare. I don't want to go looking for every room, everyone's stuff, but oh, I think this could have been, may have been. No, I won't. Might have been our children's room. Yeah, it could have been a child's. Could 
fucking children's wing. It's hard to say because uh, you know, everyone's kind of into colourful and anime things. I'm seeing a lot of dolls and stuff. So, so crazy. Oh, it's just so unbelievable. I mean, a lot of people are like, oh yeah, Chernobyl this, Chernobyl that. Chernobyl has nothing on Fukushima. Nothing at all. This is just a level beyond. Yeah, it's children's wing this. Children's or just in all girls? No, no it was definitely, well, it might have been only girls, but it's definitely a child's wing. Oh, dude. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. You were right, this is the children's side. Oh, man. Yeah. I was That's... thinking, just because, you know, Japanese in general are just women, like, it's always doll or something. It was yeah. about how old you are, but. Yeah, this... sad. This was all just for the, yeah, the child, the children. Definitely eerie, huh? Yeah. Yeah, just a bit. That's eerie. Really eerie. So like some animals have been getting in here too. This is like a oh, office area, medical block. It's a different kind of room. I'm not even kidding, that's fucking scary. Nando.
we know the first word. I think the first word leads to more people than the world. Oh, gosh. I've seen it. Just into the third floor. Now we can get a way better view of what we were walking through. And yeah, you can see how massive this really is. Yeah, it's like these are kids again. Like young lads, maybe these ones. Car on the wall. Okay, yeah, man. Just got to the third floor. And now we're starting to see like, alright, car on the you know, car on the wall. More of a yeah. More of a kid or cigarettes. Man, cigarettes, okay. I don't know if I can add that in. Alright, so we just walked down there, just glancing all these. These are again all uh, children. These are the boys' quarters, so it's all kind of repetitive. No sign of any operating theatres yet. No, more more anime. Looks like it's all falling out from uh, the earthquake. Bunch of Gundams already made. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, they're all stand ups. Oh, uh, yeah, they're proper model ones. Yeah. Alright, well, there's nothing much here. We've walked along the corridors. It is all the same. Very symmetrical. But Steve said that he didn't actually see a theatre room, which is uh, kind of getting us worried that we're just on a lost cause here, but. We're going to go down to the far bottom because that's not an area we've checked yet because we came into this building via the second floor so and by the way yeah we're using american terms now first floor is ground floor for those uk guys i still have any shots in my big hole looks like blood actually i think this is blood right here all dried up blood i mean i could be wrong but that kind of looks like it all right well So this would be second, the normal floor that we know. Yeah. So now we have to take this to the first. Yep. And you're now heading on the first floor. First floor is what we've seen, like the, that dark kind of old echo lighting. So once again, more possible room we will go through here. But uh, this was one of the I just don't know how can they host all these people, but no operating rooms. There's nowhere to be found. They just need to walk through to get into. Here. Almost. Honestly, it reminds me, reminds me of Resident Evil, like I'm looking for a herb to heal, I'm looking for some bullets. Dude, look how much eerie this floor is in the second. Yeah. It's De like hell here compared to upstairs. It definitely reminds me of Resident Evil, this floor. This floor, yeah, it's way darker, look at this. Look at the light shining in right there. It's actually amazing. What is, why is everything like tipped over? I'm getting bad vibes here. Animals again here. Yeah. Fuck is that? Yeah. 
You guys heard that, right? Josh. Might just be the wind. Yeah, it's gotta be the wind. Damn, it's, it's creepy, I'm not gonna lie. It's super freaking creepy. This section of the hospital freaking me the fuck out. This is scary, genuinely scary. We're in Japan, we're in the red zone, high radiation, wild animals, haunted hospital. Oh, it's probably haunted, feels it. You just don't know what to expect. Okay, we've made it now to the bottom. This is pretty much all of it done. Obviously we didn't get to find those rooms, but we believe that they were the locked ones, so, and even Steve didn't get to find them. But this has been a long, tiring explore. We've been here four and a half hours. I didn't even eat this morning, because obviously I wanted to diet, but maybe I should have, because I'm starving now. But more than starving, I'm dehydrated, so kind of want to just go get some ramen and some nice drink. I still think a beer is deserved today. Oh, finally. <laughs> Every day he's like, can we get a beer? I'm like, I don't think we deserve it yet. He's like, actually, you're right. But today, today's I, the day. I can't wait. I've been <laughs> wanting one so bad. <laughs> We've been dieting, so, but yeah, today's the day we have a beer. Um, we might go and see some stuff outside. It depends. I'm just still really sketched out because obviously we're in the red zone. We're not meant to be here at all, categorically not, so... I kind of, I got the video, I kind of want to bounce out, out through the radioactive forest, over the train lines, back to Steve in the car. Real weird thing. Look how good it is. So I don't really understand it. Oh, that's where they were all sleeping. Yeah, but both sides. Yeah. Look at this. This is crazy. 
Wow. Holy crap. I know. Both sides. Either way, I wonder why that door's locked back there. Both sides are like this. Looks like a nightmare. This way. She got outside. It's going up already. Well, what an amazing explorer. In the red zone of Fukushima. The abandoned Fukushima hospital. Oh, it's rising. Let's get out of here. Come on, boys. It's rising. Yeah, still going up. Yeah, it's 1.6. 1.7. One point eight, one point nine, point two. Where can see? Two point one. Two point one. Uh, two point one. Let's get out of it. All right. Get out. That's what we got. Been having hours. Been in that. 2.3 Bro, Dave, Dave I promise it's this way. At least to get to the gate. You reckon? I'll let the there in a while. What about all that bit there? That in banking? Yeah, we could try it. I was just going the same way I came the first time, that's why. It might be, but we can walk down the track, can't we? Get over here. The problem is the wind's blowing the radiation. It's blowing it everywhere. It's pretty yeah. Nice. I got it. Yeah. Good boy. Come on, come on. Go, go, go. Oh, I thought it was a street light. I mean, uh, car light. Finally, we are out. Out of the hospital and on our way back to the Airbnb into the green zone. Uh, ideally, I didn't want to spend that long there. I didn't plan on ingesting so much radiation that day. But it was quite high, it was the highest we'd seen at that point. 
but I will say if you're triggered by any of this, you probably do not want to watch the upcoming video because we hit five times that scene on this episode. In fact, we hit a 10.00 on the guide counter. We panicked. We had radiation burns on the face. Uh, it was pretty nasty. Um, so we'll say, please, if you're tr easily triggered, do not watch the next episode, which will be the car graveyard where we've got to pass through deep red zone territory but i truly hope you've enjoyed this video if you have it would mean a hell of a lot if you hit that like button and let me know down below i do read all the comments and i do respond to as many as possible um, but yeah i have a ton more japan videos to come including fukushima we've got a jewelry shop that we go to we find hundreds of watches and bracelets we've got a game store um, there's a, a suit shop, there's so much more yet to come. I have like six or seven Fukushima episodes left, plus a handful of normal Japanese ones. So, guys, I'll see you next time.